guys, it's that time again. Which is better? And it's a Diesel Tory special. So if you're into Swedish death metal or death metal in general or are curious, then this video is definitely for you. And we were between Into Eternity and Bitterness. And before I continue, I'm going to be leaving links in the description down below to check out songs by Behemoth, as well as links to check out my Instagram and Twitter page. There you get to see what bands I'm listening to, as well as what my band merch collection looks like. So looking at Into Eternity, what can I say about Sweden in regards to the 80s and 90s? There was revolution in the metal world, and the hideous monster was created, and that was Swedish death metal. Many albums and many bands came about and one of them was Dissertory. And in my opinion, I think they're underrated. And this is because also around that time you had bands like Intuned, <coughs> Unleashed, and This Number. And maybe Into Eternity came too late comparatively to the other albums that were around at the time. But maybe Dissertory's Attitude and maybe no satanic lyrics. Who knows why they're underrated. After releasing several demo tapes, Desertory began collaborating with uh, Metal Blade. This album consists of five songs known from the demo times and four that were written especially for it. The first album shows some fresh metal influences, but don't be afraid, I'm prepared to pour on pure death metal in the way it should be. Just listen. When you can hear the sound of music and class Smallberg screams, you can relish great riffs of the title track, which is the longest one by the way. The bass passages during the slow down and the fine Stefan leaves that, that are divided into two parts. Generally, Stefan, I hope I said that right, did an excellent job on, on this album. His guitar works and leads are really tuneful and it makes Into Eternity something special. After the first killer introduction, depression, it starts with a rapid, furious opening with a powerful drum and, it, and obviously not forgetting the insane blast beats from this member who was on vocals also has great solo leads as well the next song and again we were in a joke with fresh riffs and conspicuous bass guitar and slow down where you admire the Thomas drum rage the chill within has a calm introduction and it becomes a real tornado with great short leads from Stefan yet again the song Visions is opened by steady drums, Hushima with excellent riffage and drum work, and the final lyrics contemplate the music as well. The next song is Twisted Emotions, which again, fine production, fine intro, but after a few seconds it becomes pure death metal with slowing down and enriched by Stefan yet again. Now it's time for the track Forever Gone. This is the outstanding opening of the killer track, maybe the best on the album. You can hear a real, you can hear four musicians of pure metal, which you know what, who know what to do with their skills, minds, and instruments. It's a fast, accurate song with crushing guitar, solo ends with class screams, and ease my sorrow. In turn, Past Away is just a pure blast in your face with some gory lyrics, which ends suddenly. The element of this masterpiece is asleep. It doesn't mean time for sleep, but this is totally just attacks with energetic riffs and some twisted melodies blending auditory center. Here we have the slowdown and the double bass here is just murderous and seemingly chaotic. Pretty is successful by keyboard lasting a few seconds. Putting it all together, mixing excellent riffs and hard hitting vocals, this is totally created something I define as probably one of the early examples of decent death metal. Of course it sounds raw, but very strong. The word dissertory means chaotic, untidy, cool. Here the situation is just immensely proportional to the band's name. So this is obvious why I decided to pay homage to dissertory here. A very unique band. Switching gears, we're gonna look at bitterness. Now this follows straight after the previous album, into eternity. Here, there's a story needed to unleash. Unleash but times ten. Album, there are new songs written just for this album only. Nine tracks once again, and the same lineup, producer, and, and this time, Sunlight Studio. 
The main question here is, did this story achieve or even be do better than their previous album? I'll let you really judge. Compared to the first album, everything is different here. Sounding way create created musically and there is no flash influences. However, there's more melody this time around. It brought completely another journey to an unsolved metal music area. Unlike in Tomb, this number or Unleashed. This album freshens up with the, sec the second you listen to it. This story created five death metal fir firecrackers, if you ask me. Left Behind, Taste of Tragedy, Among Mortals, Enslaved, and Cold Bitterness. You know, six. Winter. But the album is opened by Live Shatters. Smart, mindful drumming. It just sound devastating. And then the guitars hold down to the wall. There is no escape. And after a few seconds, you can hear the difference comparing to in, Into Eternity. More powerful sounding. And haunts bass lines and vocals. Strengthened and intensified his singing. Dreams are powerful. And I can clearly see the band vision to create a masterpiece. Which is a conscious step ahead. And probably above the rest. All in frames of death metal, but enriched by the vast spatial monumental work of art. The brain shatters during listening to this album. Stephanie's guitar amazed once again. It can be he really develops his uncommon skills. In addition to heavy duty bass bass bruises. The next song is called Closing Eye. It has a calm crease introduction, but the guitars are delicious. It's epic and it's a monumental song of outstanding guitar melodies played by Stefan and two solos. This kind of song structure is something new, new for the band. And maybe the beginning of Forever Gone from the first CD and the last one. I think it's a kind of a combination. It's brutal, energetic and fast with, exploding, with an explosive beginning. These sharp juicy guitars I ride the cor into the chorus. Seemingly chaotic melodic guitar with becomes again death metal tornado. The slow is a slow down fasting of more than two less less than two minutes. The light keys makes incidental music but there is only one master, Stefan Poe and his solo and the cutthroat class screams. I can see right through you. You're not in my harmony, not in my harmony with life, just like me. But dead, alive but dead. After these words the song turns to death metal storm again. The last track on the album is called Bitterness which shows all the full force of death metal. The silence reigns in on your troubled mind. Now by the time by now by this album, this totally proves the debut was wasn't some kind of every effort. The band has matured, a comedy sound, mental and physically devastating. So let me know in the comments down below what you thought was a better album. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.